Building Up. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is important in life. As we know among the characteristics which God has to us and how we shall do to others is love and mercy. For example, God loves us so much that he forgives what we have done wrong, so we shall also love others and forgive what they have done wrong. And another characteristic that also comes from God and that we shall also do similarly to others is to build up, to build up lives. God never wants us to be in a downward spiral, in a downward spiral of sadness that one bad event comes to the other and finally it is a self-fulfilling prophecy or he does not want us to be in downward spirals of taking drugs and having a bad life subsequently, or in other downward spirals of depressions and so on and so on, and sicknesses and all. Rather, he wants our life to be built up. For example, first have a good education and then from that get a job and then with what we earn maybe we can learn something more do something more useful and so on and if god wants to build up our life to help us build our life to give us wisdom and so on then of course we should also try to help others to build up their lives as far as we can help and as far as we can impact romans 14 verse 19 let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding build each other's life up. For example, to help someone come out of trouble, help someone come out of depression in order to come back to a normal life, with a normal, regular uh, living day and routine. And then we can also do something for the work of God, for his kingdom, it might start from very little things, maybe to do a mini project in the church or contribute a very minor thing first. And out of that step by step, bigger things can grow, maybe to start a new ministry and so on. In First Kings 18 verse 30, Elias said to all the people, come near to me. So all the people came near to him and he repaired the altar of the Lord, which had been torn down. So he repaired the altar of the Lord so it can be used again. And of course that is built up in a double sense, build up the altar and also build up the service to the Lord for that. And restore the relationship with God. Lord, we thank you that you always build up. So many other forces, evil forces try to tear us down, to destroy, to distract. But you always want to build up. You want to build up lives in all regards, with regard to health, with regard to finances, with regard to job, with regard to all, relationships and everything. You are a God of building up. And we ask that you also show us where we can help others to build up their lives or where we can help to build something up in the church or in the community. Thank you that it does not depend on how much we can achieve. Your criteria are not how much someone can do. Actually, you have all the power. You can do everything. The criteria is only we only have to trust in you. Thank you that you make it so easy for us. And we are sorry where we do wrong. We are sorry where we follow negative thinking and where we go in wrong directions. Thank you that you have forgiveness and love and mercy. We praise your holy name and we ask that you may guide us through this life and all people surrounding us into your eternal kingdom where we praise you forever. Amen.